man who was shot dead by a police officer, by a single bullet, in fact, uh, that went through the windscreen of the Audi, the dark car he was driving in South London uh, late one evening. He died the next day of his injuries, a uh, gunshot to the brain. Now, the Independent Office for Police Conduct, the police watchdog effectively, spent seven months investigating what happened. Uh, we know that they passed a file on for consideration to the Crown Prosecution Service, the CPS, uh, back in March, uh, and they uh, they have taken really five, six months going through that detail, and we've just had this uh, alert uh, at 10 o'clock this morning saying that the CPS have decided after a thorough review of all the evidence to authorise this charge of murder against a Metropolitan Police officer following the death of Chris Cabber. I'll go through the statement here. It says, Mr Cabber died on the 6th of September 2022 after he was struck by a single bullet in Streatham Hill, South London. Uh, the CPS going on to remind all concerns that criminal proceedings against the officer are active and that he has a right to a fair trial. Now, we cannot name this officer uh, so far. He's just been known as NX121 in all reporting. Uh, and the family, having put out a statement reacting to this news, saying that they welcome the charging decision, this joint statement uh, reacting to the news that a police officer will be charged with the death of Chris Cabber. The family say Chris was so very loved by our family and all his friends. He had a bright future ahead of him, but his life was cut short. Our family and our wider community must see justice for Chris. Now, just to remind you, uh, Chris Cabber, a 24-year-old man, you can see that picture of him uh, on your screens here, a father-to-be as well, shot dead by police in South London. Now, he'd been driving a car which was basically picked up uh, on an ANPR cameras, having been linked to a firearms incident the day before. This was on the 5th of September 2022, last year. He was followed for about 15 minutes by an unmarked police car with no lights or signs before getting blocked in uh, on a street, a residential street, in fact, Kurtstill Gardens in Streatham Hill. The vehicles collided and a firearms officer fired a single shot through the windscreen, hitting Mr Carber in the head and he died of his injuries the next day. And after this extensive investigation by the police watchdog, the IOPC, that file being passed on to the Crown Prosecution Service, they have now finally today arrived at a charging decision and an officer, a man, has been charged and he's due to appear in court with this tomorrow. Rachel, thanks so much for that. Just want to add uh, some further developments. Uh, we just got a statement coming across from the Met, from uh, Deputy Assistant Commissioner Helen Millerchap, who says, quote, we have fully supported the IOPC investigation as has worked to establish facts. Today's announcement is a significant and serious development. We must now allow the court process to run its course. So it would not be appropriate for me to say more at this stage. Our thoughts are with everyone affected by this. The statement also confirms that the officer remains suspended from duty as things uh, currently stand.